Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Santa Switch Adapted Toys. This is Santa Jerry. We're going to do another one of these linkable toys. This is the uh, fish. One, two, oh, thank you, Al. So this is the uh, Linkables Light Up and Learn Owl. So this has got some several inputs. So we've got questions. And then we've got six inputs around that. Songs, alphabet, counting, feelings, weather, and calendar. So the button that we're going to adapt to is going to be the question button, the one in the middle, where we learn all about the owls and some other uh, forest animals. So, otherwise, we're not going to put all seven of these uh, inputs into into switches off to the side. We're just going to do the question one, and it, by activating it, that also uh, allows the owl to talk to all the other linkables. So the first thing we have to do is to get all these screws out of the back. Now I've already taken a bunch of them out because I opened it up to find out what we were going to do today. So I think I've only got two screws left. So now, This is going to be an interesting one because this owl is going to uh, have so many components to it that's going to be like in the way and fall apart and we can't completely move them away from the from the work area as you'll see in a moment I'm going to lay the owl down let's see face down and take the back off I can't take the back completely off because you see the battery compartments here and wiring is attached so I can open that up and the first thing we see is all these components here that are loose this hole here is socket feeds back to this or when it's back together this has also got I'm going to, have to just take this so it's the way it's formed it sets down into there we've got something going on here but I don't know what um, this goes down oh I do know now I know so there's a um, switch down here that's in use when this is in the it is in the box. It's not in use at all for uh, uh, using uh, using the toy and playing with it. But when you take it out of the box, there's one of these lock things that holds it in, and that goes in and pushes up on that switch, and so that puts it into store mode the uh, de demonstration mode on this in the store and so when we take that out it releases that switch puts it into a different condition and I don't know if we can just eliminate it and if the toy would run properly so we're going to keep it in place but that also means that unless I disconnect it here which I'm not going to do right now. Here is where all of our components are right here on the front and that's behind on this circuit board. So to gain access to our switches we have to take the circuit board off. So I'm going to zoom in as I work on that circuit board, okay? It's got two screws on it. Started 
different dish because of this. I don't know if those screws are the exact same size as the other ones, but I don't want to take a risk on it and then put the wrong ones in. So when we turn over the circuit board, we have got seven buttons on there which represent those seven inputs off the front. Um, and here's where those buttons press on these buttons. And this one here is loosened up a bit because I've already taken it off to, uh, to look at it. You will not have to take this off. I'm going to save you some time on this. So I took it off so I could figure out and kind of trace out where I'm going to put my uh, cables, my switches, and, and put my wires down. And I started to trace this out, and then I realized that there was something else about this that's going to make it real easy. There is an S4 right there. That says S4. And there's an S4 over here in one of these. And these are marked for what is taking place, including the fact that there's a ground right here. So let's zoom in. Oops, let's zoom in. Uh, hope that the camera focuses. I would try to pick this up normally to the camera, but I, I just don't see that that's reasonable to do. Oh, good. Uh, the markings are there. They're readable. They're upside down. But this is switch 4 as opposed to switch 9, 8, whatever the configuration is and down here it's marked with S4 and ground is common to everything on this so that if uh, we close the circuit that's what's going to give us our switching our, uh, our activation on this toy so see I zoom back out just a little bit because what I was demonstrating here switch 4 here's S4 it's here and ground. So these are the two points that I'm going to attach my cable to. It's going to be the S4 on this node and ground here. We don't have to remove that. We don't have to scratch the circuit board. We don't have to try to solder to the circuit board. All very, very easy to do from these two points. So I'm going to set that back down for just a moment. This is the bottom of the toy. Oh boy, this is going to be a little awkward. I should have marked where I want, where everything is before I started. Uh, failure on my part. I should have marked before I started where it's safe to enter with a uh, cable. It looks to me like... having set everything back in place for a moment it looks like a safe place to enter with the cable is going to be I've got one here is going to be over on this side that won't interfere with the movement of the toy and it will be close to where our wiring goes okay good so we're going to drill a hole. Right. Uh, let's go. Let's go above it. Okay. Let's push our wiring through here. If you've watched my videos, you've heard me talk about knots. This is the time to do it. We want to knot strain relief so this does not come out. Holds it securely in place. Um, when we're all done, our wiring is going to be soldered in this vicinity. So how much wire do we leave inside? I want a little bit more because I don't want any, any possibility of that wire being any strain.
strain or tension on it. And roll this back over. And let's see. Because of where I'm wiring it and the position of all of the switches, I'm going to want my wiring to be on this side. Okay? So let's flip this back over. I'm going to use that to weight it down. Get my soldering iron warmed up. Tweezers. And we're going to go from ground. Let's pull the cable in here a little further while we work. Ground. Touch. Uh, a little solder on the iron and tap that down. This goes to S4. It's a very tiny space in here to work with, and I don't really have this at a, at a good angle, but I'm pretty sure that we can solder that without messing things up. Okay. Soldered in place. Secure. Let's hook up a switch. Got one of mine right here. Power button natural is on this side. Okay, so there we go. It's activated. I was just resting my eyes. Okay. All right. Now we've got this thing attached. Um, I wanted to point out something. You're, you're not going to take these, this button off, this switch off of here, but I did. And let's turn this off for a moment. So to put these back on, you've got to be kind of careful because it's got these two silicone tabs that stick out on the back. And uh, one way of putting this in is with, because we have access to both sides of the board, you could just grab a hold of that silicone nub there and try and pull it through but if you pull it off you're not happy with yourself there's also a hole in the front of it so I'm going to do a combination I'm going to gently push in on the front and pull out on that back and see if I can get this to no you see okay now that sometimes this doesn't work if there's I'm using a straightened out paper clip Sometimes that doesn't work, and in fact, I can feel that I have poked through that. So, let's gently I'll try this again. I think I've got it. I do. Okay. So that's reinstalled. But in this case, you don't have to take it off because you now know where to put the wire. Put this, the uh, uh, cables down. So that's done. This toy is adapted. We're going to put the screws back in it and reassemble it. And reassembling is kind of a tricky thing too because you see all these components that fell out or came out. Let's see our... Put our screws back in nice and snug. Take this cable, I wanted it to be on the outside, therefore it's out of the way of everything. And now we're going to put it back together. Putting it back together is line up that part 
this has to, there's a couple of, right here there's a screw uh, uh, platform. This matches up with over here. This has to go centered on that. So unfortunately I cannot pick this toy up and show you how I'm putting it back together because it'll just fall apart. But you need to put this, let's see which one is it, and we're down, this tab on each side goes through these wings, okay? Uh, make sure we don't pinch any wires. Set this back in place. Got the one set over there. Pick this up. It's in the wrong spot on this side. Gently bring it back over without losing registration on the other side, and we're almost, almost there. That was that keeper tab fell into my waste can. We're almost there. We're there. Okay. Now I'm going to quickly put a at least one or maybe two screws into here so it doesn't come apart. And then we'll set it back up. Turn it on. Okay, it's got all freedom of movement on it. Turn it on and activate it. So that is that is how I would adapt the Fisher Prize Owl. Okay. And talks. Very good. All right. Thank you, folks. Uh, I have another Fisher Price uh, Lincoln's toy I'm going to adapt shortly, and we'll put that video up too. So if you have uh, any questions, um, let me know. I'll put the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of Santa Switch Adapted Toys. Bye.